This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. When we think about the COVID-19 vaccine hesitancy in the black community, let's remember it didn't happen by chance. It's justified in history. But the will to change the narrative is strong today, and our people are lending their voices to the conversation. We're sharing our stories and the reasons that made us choose the vaccine so we can lead the way for others to make a well-informed choice, too. To hear our stories, visit hereforuswa.org. Wenatchee is gorgeous in the spring with its lush green rolling hills, abundant wildflowers everywhere, and the views of the Columbia River. The local food scene offers an abundant selection of authentic international cuisines featuring the unique farm fresh ingredients of the region. Wenatchee is also home to award-winning wines, handcrafted hard ciders, and a talented handful of local brewers producing fine craft beers. Visit Wenatchee, the heart of Washington State. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your driver's license is important so you can get back and forth to work, get your kids to school, and back and forth to daycare. If your license has been suspended because you can't pay your tickets, you can't do any of those things. Let's talk about Chapter 13 bankruptcy. You may have heard the tickets cannot be discharged, but they can be dealt with in a Chapter 13 case. Why not come in for a free consultation? The chapter you choose will make all the difference to your getting back legally on the road. Let's design a plan to pay off your tickets and restore your license immediately. I'm attorney Travis Gagné. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. James Gunn. He's the guy that did Guardians of the Galaxy and a lot of other cool stuff, too, that Rev and I like. So does Vicky. Mm. Yeah. Um, he wants to make a Gilligan's Island movie, but he wants to do it with a dark twist. I'm so in on this. I don't, I don't know if it's ever going to happen, but I would love to see this. In his version, the castaways, they get desperate, they get hungry, and they start killing and eating each other. <laughs> da, 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 da. What was that movie? Was that Alive? About the the the, the, the oh, plane that crashed, yeah, yeah, and He's, eventually the people had to eat. Spoiler alert: they had to like, eat each other. Yeah, based yeah. on a true story. Yes, uh, yeah. And Gilligan's Island was based on a true story, so I mean, mm-hmm. it's perfect. Yep, yep that faded. Yeah, the more. the idea originally came from screenwriter Charlie Kaufman. He wrote adaptation, being John Malkovich, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. So, so very yeah, lighthearted, fun movies. This yeah. guy's made. Charlie's yeah. out there, that's for sure. Yes. Uh, and Gunn says that uh, Kaufman pitched the idea in the nineties. Warner Brothers was like, yeah, let's do this. But Gilligan's Island creator Sherwood Schwartz said, no, we are not having the Gilligan people eat each other. I, you know what? I can respect that. Sherwood Schwartz, I mean, he was kind of a guy that made like fun, goofy television yeah. shows. I don't know if he ever wanted to turn one of his, his baby Gilligan's Island into a dark kind of horror film. Yeah, you know, his generation is just like, what the hell is wrong with you? That would be the response. I wish I, he would have said yes, though. How great would that be? Yeah, I'm. I don't know if I'm on board with this. It's, well, like it's, if Gilligan's like 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 the like he just gets dark and just starts like taking people yeah, out. And like I, why uh, Gilligan? Why do you seem so like fed? We're all starving. I don't know, but where's Marianne? It's a uh, <laughs> it's a sacred cow to me. It really? really is. Yeah, Gilligan's uh, Island is. Yeah, I know. Wow. I I didn't even know I felt this way until I read this story, and I it is such a it bothers you. Yeah, it's a beloved happy moment from my life that I don't want to see those characters doing horrible but things you don't to have each to. other. You don't yeah, have to watch it, but we not, do. Yeah, they're not taking they're not taking away your old Gilligan's Island. You can still watch them. Right, they're not going to edit it into the old footage, which I, I would think, love actually. I it's just I mean, I don't know how to explain it. It's just disturbing no, to me. Yeah, I um now it was um, like when we talked about Home Alone and I was like that would be so awesome if all of a sudden Kevin became like this evil like serial killer when he got older and he's like he's still bitter towards his parents for forgetting him yeah you know that's interesting i guess because that's a continuation you know what i mean mm-hmm. it's not like our it's not like a re-envisioning of of home alone like if you know, like the first one is still what it is but it would take oh, you knowing that oh in the future kevin gets really weird yeah i mean i don't <laughs> know why my brain doesn't have a problem with that uh it's just that they never did that to each other on the island so it's like oh you're changing the story uh, whereas, yeah, Kevin could grow up to be a crazy person. I mean, you know, I mean, he was traumatized by the sticky bandits, uh, you know, as, what? and also by his family for leaving him alone and for some reason not recognizing that he wasn't with them. Which, I mean, you're going to go probably skipper, I'd say, if I'm going to eat somebody. 
Yeah, there's too much fat on that. Oh. See, I would oh. think Skipper would be the bad guy. Mm. I'm thinking oh. Gilligan's the one who gets bad. I've never once seen this show. G- Gilligan's it's, Island? No. Really? Yeah, so I, I, I know your guys' uh, reference to them, but I don't know who. I like, can't who, guarantee you'd like it. Yeah, I, that's fine. Yeah, I can't even true. tell you what any of them look like except for Gilligan were. Okay, can we sweater. have an immediate termination? Is there a way just to, you know, just to call the boss and just have Danny off the show? Oh, wow. oh I mean, man. You give I mean, him a seriously. chance. I say by before 2022, you should watch it's at never, least one episode. Wow. Also, I was going to say, that's the thing. I, that I have not watched a lot of things. That's the There's thing a lot of things, Danny. This is the latest. This is the latest. This is the latest. Latest of your of your blasphemous behavior. One text says, uh, "Let's be honest. I'd eat Marianne." I don't, I don't know, know if that's. What... I don't think. Yeah. <laughs> no, wow. Uh, you know, surprisingly, wait, wait I um I didn't think it would be that long before we heard that comment. Oh, we got I about ten of them. Quick. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, so here's the thing, James Gunn. Since you know, ever since Guardians hit, he's become you know a darling director. He has done some twisted movies. So I, I, I and. <laughs> And, right. um, you know, he went to Warner Brothers. He said, look, uh, let's do this. Come on. Sherwood Schwartz is dead. Let's do it. So they were waiting for Sherwood to die. Then they were really get guns like, let's do it. But uh, his estate said, no, we also don't think it's a good idea. Um, but, man, you yeah, know. Not gonna, I mean, if they heard that he didn't want it done, do you think anyone in his family, unless they hated him, is going to be like, <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Now that dad's done, gone, we can make this happen. Find one nephew who uh, didn't have a good relationship with him and have them okay it. Right. I, I, I say, you know, in, in another 20 years, it might happen. As far as somebody, Sammy Schwartz, who probably doesn't have a lot of money, Sammy might go, how much are you going to pay me? Yeah, let's do this. Right? Can't they do like a loosely based, like it's like Schmilligan's Island or something like that? Yeah, please. <laughs> please. That would be hysterical. Uh, Someone want to know who would we uh, cast as the members of Gilligan's Island if we did do this? Oh, John Goodman would have to be Skipper. And I look, Skipper's oh. got to be a heavy. The reason he's heavy all these years, we thought it was because he had too many carbs. He had too many people. That's why he's the heavy guy. He's John he, Goodman really isn't heavy anymore. No, he lost a lot of weight. He lost yeah. a lot oh, of weight. Crying out loud, John, you're going to have to gain the weight back then, okay? Mm-hmm. Or either that, it's going to, you know. <laughs> I'm trying that's to think John of like who Goodman be. these days. I'm what? thinking yeah. from Gilligan McLovin. Oh, oh, Christopher Mintz Plus. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What about, uh, yeah. what's, oh man, who's the guy? Uh, Brendan Fraser. Have him be Skipper. <gasps> yes. Oh, Solid. yeah. yeah he's, he's got, got a got resurgence Bre- coming out. Yeah. yeah. And he, he, he does have a little bit more weight on him these days. So, sure, he'd be a good Skipper. And again, good and he, he'd be good evil. He's Vince, the evil guy. Vince Vaughn as the professor. Vince, Vince Vaughn, Vaughn yeah. as the professor? That man doesn't have a smart bone in his body. He's an actor. He can pretend. Uh, what about Thomas Hiddleditch, the, the guy from Silicon Valley? He's a very, he can be professorial. Ooh, He's I would like, like him more as a I'm Gilligan, actually. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> well, he was a professor. Jesus, that's the character, the professor. You know, the professor and Marianne. You want Vince Vaughn? Yeah, you guys know that, like, you know, like, Robert Downey Jr. really doesn't fly around in an iron suit. Like, we just, it's a make up like, yeah, you also know the thing called the casting director. What would make you think he's the perfect professor? When you look at the original dude that played the professor. Man, cool yeah, hair. The, the original dude wasn't a, that much of a handsome guy. He was okay. Oh, he was a pretty good looking dude. You watch your mouth. Yeah. He was wow. a good looking man. Yeah. yeah. He was an okay looking dude. He was, very, he, he was kind of a geeky professorial guy. My, that's my memory of him. All right. What about the Lovey and, and Thurston Howell? Oh, Thurston oh. Howell. and uh, uh, Okay. So. Uh, well, Betty White. Let's get Betty White. <laughs> no. I mean, that way, if people eat William her, Shatner they don't and Betty White. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. William Shatner and, and then, Betty White. And then, have them be, sucks. and then have them be the cannibals. Well, oh, oh, that would, again, the rich people. Yeah. That, and that sends a message like the rich feed off the poor. Yeah. Social commentary. I love it. You don't like the, you know, you, we mean it's a bad, you, you want Vince Vaughn, Vin, you don't well, want. Actually, no, if, if William wow. Shatner and Betty White are going to eat Vince Vaughn, then I'm okay with Vince Vaughn being the professor then at this point. I'm thinking more like Liam Neeson and like uh, Glenn Close. No one's going to eat Liam Neeson. They'll think he's got a certain set of mm. island skills and he'll kill everybody that tries to eat him. That's not bad either, though. Glenn Close will put everybody in a bun, uh, in a pot and boil them, right? Is that the idea? <laughs> what do we think, Megan Fox is Marianne? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, she's pissing me off. I've been. I watched some interview that her and Machine Gun Kelly did, and it just made me like. Yeah. Just, oh no, she didn't come off jerky, did she? Oh, they just. They're both. They're just a special, unique level of annoying. Yeah. Oh, so you know, yeah. and now you now you see why Danny hates Machine Gun Kelly. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's All terrible. Right. But man, Pete, she is hot. How about Pete Davidson Wait, in the movie? Steven's favorite actor. Pete Davidson is Gilligan. 
As long as he gets eaten and killed. He first. actually would be a de- <laughs> he, he does kind of look Gilliganish to me. He does. I think Pete Davidson would be a good Gilligan. Blake Lively as the the uh, as the the Hollywood chick. Oh, the movie star Marianne. Ginger. Ginger. Well, I remember she was a redhead though. Yeah, they got wigs. Yeah, they got the hair dye. <laughs> well, hair dye. We, uh, all right. Well, I mean, I mean, we have actors speaking with English. We have very we 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 have attractive redheads out there that are redheads. I mean, let's throw them in the let's. Amy give them Adams. A- Is she an adult star? No. Oh. Is she an adult star? You mean you want to get a porn <laughs> actress in there? Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, I'm I, thinking if Danny's suggesting someone, it was an adult film star. That's I all. I mean, that's, well, one Amy Fair. Adams does sound like a. Oh, yeah. Amy Adams. Yeah, yeah. You're right. That's a good pick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you uh, really thought Amy Adams was an adult? I don't know any of these actors. How do you not know Amy Adams? <laughs> I do by face. I don't he, know anyone because he falls asleep in the movie. And if we can't get Amy Adams, let's get her looking like Isla Fisher because I always confuse the two of those when yeah. they're in a movie. Ooh, Texture's a good one. Topher Grace as Gilligan. Okay. Uh, it's okay. not bad. It's not bad. No, not a bad call. Scarlett at all. Johansson as Ginger. Yeah, that would work as well. Jonah but Hill as the Skipper. Jo- mm. Yeah, but he's he's, he's kind of thin again, yeah. though, right? Is he? Yeah, I, I don't know. He, well, I mean, he's been thin for a while. I don't know if he's if he's back to looking a little bit more weightly. What's uh, the old guy's name again? The Skipper. Oh, no, Thurston. The other one. Thurston Howell. Oh, Thurston. Thurston uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was thinking John Cleese. John Cleese is he's wow. half dead. Is he? Well, yeah, yeah. you need an old person for the uh, the, he the old like role. Ooh, Texture's a great one. Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell as the couple. Yes, <laughs> oh, is, oh, that's is, is, is good. Thurston and Lovey. Yeah, they already have the chemistry. Ah, uh, you know, that's I can't argue a really with that. Good one, but I again, like Snake that. Plissken could start kicking ass though, because Kurt wait, Kurt's not going to let anybody eat him <laughs> or 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 Lovey. <laughs> See, that's the fun part. Yeah, Mia yeah, Khalifa as Marianne. Part. I'm with you on that one, Texture. Yeah. Yeah. Who's that? Mia Khalifa. I don't know who that is. You don't know her. She's a great actress. <laughs> yeah, what is she's she, what is she? in porn. <laughs> Rev, oh, she it's was. called adult films, yeah. and she was. Uh, she's not in it anymore. Oh, good. Uh, oh, it's, yeah, she's maybe moved on. Yeah, what is she into now? Or what is somebody? Into? Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, For raising. Or, yeah. Whoops. Sorry about that. Uh, so is it Dwayne the Rock Johnson as the skipper? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's a. Who that's should a Kevin Hart be? Skipper. Gilligan. Yes. <laughs> oh, this movie keeps getting better. Oh, there we go. No, that's too perfect. Yeah. Kevin Hart is Gilligan. That would I, I actually, you know what? And if, if it wasn't, I would pay to see that movie if Kevin yeah. Hart and and Dwayne the Rock Johnson are in a cannibal movie. That would be pretty. I absolutely, awesome. am in for this. All right, let's do it. And then it's Stifler as the professor. <laughs> Stifler, you want to? What's your doing? You're what's getting, getting worse. What is wrong with you? What's wrong with you, Stifler? What makes him professorial? Why do you have to keep using you like that, that word, word man? Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, that's the, it's uh, the best way to just... He's I mean, an actor. Right. Do you know what? the guy that played the professor was a professor? <laughs> <laughs> you sounded I like no you idea. had marshmallows in your mouth. Yeah. I mean, you I'm are sh- professorial. Yeah. professorial. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if he did that kind of behavior, Steve, but he was... <laughs> you got to get a geeky-looking dude, somebody who's a kind of a geeky-looking oh, actor. I mean, is on stiff line. We're good. No, I don't think we have. No? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I really... But we're you know. fine with Kevin Hart as Gilligan. <laughs> yes. And well, we can't... Yes! I mean, Gilligan at the time was a very... I mean, he was a comedic actor. He was known for that Bob Denver, and so is Kevin Hart. It makes a little more sense. You know, I mean, whereas The Professor was the straight man, and Stifler was never really the straight man of shows, was he? Ooh, I'm a Mila uh, Kunis as uh, Marianne and Ashton Kutcher as The Professor. Okay. Oh, wow. Does that mean they're um, going to have to bang on the movie? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't remember them having a relationship, but I don't... I, I yeah, But Ashton Kutcher's not the brightest tool He's in the box. He's not professorial. He's Didn't not. He hey, think? you said the word, Steve. Good job. I have, to say, I have to say it in a very condescending BJ voice, and I know how to say it. <laughs> and Ashton well, Kutcher good played Steve Jobs, so he has played smart guys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but was that the, the Steve Jobs movie everybody liked? No. I don't know. If that, yeah. there was more yeah, I one. didn't watch it, so I don't yeah. know. So instead, if Kevin Hart is Gilligan, Ice Cube should be the skipper, and The Rock is the professor. <laughs> I'd go see that. How about Owen Wilson as a professor? Someone texted in. Wow. I can go for that. Owen Wilson, uh, after wow. seeing how he played in uh, Loki, I think Owen Wilson would do a good job. Bill yeah. Nye, the science guy, is a professor. Bill, Bill, an actor. Bill, Bill, Bill. He All acted. Right. Yeah. And what? He acted as himself. Yeah, he was on the, 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 the Almost Live. Yeah. And you're saying the professor has to be geeky? I'm looking at the Russell Johnson as a young man. He was attractive. Well, let me see pictures of him as a young man. Yeah. And that's also a great adult film star name. Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> he was good looking. I'm not oh. saying he wasn't good looking, but he's kind of got, you know, a unique sort of... They, they had, I don't know. He's All not right, a fine. nerd. 
All right, then get Vince Vaughn. Then I don't yes. care anymore. Thank Vince. you. Back to the OG. <laughs> I, you know what? I, I, gave up. Go just ahead, gave up. Yeah, I, I give up. You know, <laughs> the team of Vicky and Steve look for any reason to for their bad casting choices. Go ahead. How about Bill Murray, Murray and Helen Mirren as the Howells? <gasps> yeah. That's not bad. That's good too. I like that. <laughs> no, I'm not going to argue with that because those are, yeah, that's are a quality smart, choice. Man. Those are quality choices, unlike the Vicky and Steve choice. So said that the professor lived on Bainbridge Island, according to the B Town Beer Guy. I did not know that. I didn't know it either. Good old Russell Johnson making it happen. He, he lives, so he's not with us anymore. Yeah, he died in 2014. Oh, sorry, man. Yeah. Yeah. Pour one out for the homie. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff Goldblum as a professor. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I can't that's argue actually, with that. That's solid. Yeah, can't argue with that at all. Because he definitely can play some weird sort of, you know, professorial people. He could play every character in this movie, and I'm still watching Can it. we just do that, a deep fake? Everybody is just Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> Someone say, have Eddie Murphy play everybody. <laughs> oh, I think God. he's done that before. Oh, yeah, I don't think I yeah. like those Nutty movies. Professor. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Travolta as the skipper, Nicolas Cage as, uh, the, the, as Gilligan. Oh, it was just like a face off, off too. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, I think we've we've solved it, haven't we? Or, I don't know, but we? I'm entertained by it. So hey, hey, we got a guy that just broke a record for collecting something very odd, and he has over eleven thousand of them. What is it? I'll tell you at eight twenty on the Rock. BJ and Migs mornings on the Rock. 99.9 KISW. This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. When we think about the COVID-19 vaccine hesitancy in the black community, let's remember, it didn't happen by chance. It's justified in history. But the will to change the narrative is strong today, and our people are lending their voices to the conversation. We're sharing our stories and the reasons that made us choose the vaccine so we can lead the way for others to make a well-informed choice, too. To hear our stories, visit hereforuswa.org. Wenatchee is gorgeous in the spring with its lush green rolling hills, abundant wildflowers everywhere, and the views of the Columbia River. The local food scene offers an abundant selection of authentic international cuisines featuring the unique farm fresh ingredients of the region. Wenatchee is also home to award-winning wines, handcrafted hard ciders, and a talented handful of local brewers producing fine craft beers. Visit Wenatchee, the heart of Washington State. Make your kitchen ready for every summer gathering this Memorial Day with LG and Lowe's. Our exclusive InstaView appliance suite includes ranges with air fry, refrigerators with slow melting craft ice, and an exclusive dishwasher you can only find at Lowe's. Plus, you'll get up to 10% back via a MasterCard prepaid card when you bundle eligible LG products via rebate. Shop Memorial Day savings at Lowe's. Offer valid 3 3 through 5 18 on select LG items only. See Lowe's.com slash rebates for details and timing. Take the next step toward the career you want, be it business, cybersecurity, healthcare, or more. UMGC can help you get there. No application fee when you apply by August 31st. Visit umgc.edu. Certified to operate by Chev. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. There's a Canadian Coca-Cola fan who earned themselves a spot in the Guinness Book of World Records by collecting 11,308 different cans issued by the company. Wow, I, 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 guess, I, I guess that they do release a lot of cans. Didn't realize it was up to that number. When I was a kid, I remember being all pumped about having like those old school Coca-Cola bottles. I wasn't collecting like every single one, but I always thought they were just such a cool look, like those glass bottles. Yeah. And I just I kept them in my, you know, in my room, but... Then I just, they never went anywhere from there. I went all of a sudden, like, I need every Coca Cola can and bottles ever created. Yeah, this dude's name is Gary. He beat out a guy whose collection includes uh, 10,558 different Coke cans. That guy must hate Gary. Yeah. Like, dude, this is my thing. Yeah. Here you come swooping in. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. That's an epic <laughs> amount of Coke cans to have, and then all of a sudden, somebody just one upped you. Yeah. Or 1,000 up to you. Yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, that is, uh, that's nuts. G- Gary, yeah, Gary almost has 1,000 more than this, this guy. Oh, my uh, gosh, he's, he has one that's, a, it looks like a Big Mac. Aww. I'm looking at the video because he has all these different types of, of Coca-Cola oh cans. Wow, that's amazing. They made a can that looks like a Big Mac. Wow. And it comes yeah, look, in a Big uh, Mac Big Mac box. 
And Gary, I mean, he looks like what he's got would be your room where you'd have books. And instead, they're just shelves of Coke cans. Dude, like walk-in closet full of Coke cans, hallways with shelves full of Coke. Imagine going on a date with this guy, and he invites you over, and you go to his house, and he doesn't. He says, hey, just to let you know, I collect Coke cans. I don't even think still you'd be mentally prepared for the amount of Coke cans he has. His collection includes a 1955 can that was one of the first to be produced by the company, as well as commemorative cans from multiple decades of Olympic Games including an ultra-rare can designed for the 2016 Chicago Olympics, which never took place due to Rio de Janeiro winning the bid to host. Dude, and Vicky's showing us a video, and he has like a Stranger Things-inspired Coke can, and it comes like in a special box. I think it came from Netflix as one of their promotional items. Oh. Wow. Is I'll be honest, honest, some of these are pretty cool. I'm kind of oh, glad wow. he did it so we could see him. I don't want them, but... <laughs> you know what I mean? Like It's like fun to look at. I don't necessarily want it in my house, but I would love to go over to Gary's house. And they look unopened. Are they unopened? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's kind of like okay. you wouldn't open up like your, it's probably like a toy or something in a sense that like you don't take it out of its packaging. Yeah, it's a collector's item for a lot of those. The fact that he's even handling them is uh, amazing. He also has a can that is designed for drinking in zero gravity for the 1985 Challenger <laughs> space shuttle mission. Wow. And a 1991 expedition to the Russian space station. This is Gary, the Canadian Coca-Cola winner in the Guinness Book of World Records over 11,000 different cans. Um, Look at that can. It looks like a robot. Oh, man. Yeah, is How about this? Just, like, spritz it out. That's cool. I guess so. Gary's got over 11,000 cans and says he still doesn't possess his dream Coke can. Oh, oh. I bet he the said, other guy has it. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny if he does? I don't think this other guy has this one. What is it? G- Gary says, I would love to have a can with my picture on it. It would be great oh. in my collection. If, if Gary now, if Gary had that can and said, "I'm holding it hostage, you bastard, for taking the record from me," uh, if I'm that guy, I would get a can of Gary's face on it and just like troll him, Be like <laughs> stole my record. I got a Gary can of Coke. Yeah, apparently they did that though. Like where they, they put people's like presidents on the Coke cans. Makes sense. Yeah, you, right. you can do like names, but you can't do pictures. So yeah, well, yeah, be that. super fancy. I mean, he won like he has the world record. He should get his face on a can. I bet they will. I hope they do. Yeah. I wonder if Coca Cola has a display of these cans anywhere the way he does. I feel like they would want to buy the collection or say, "Can we put this in a sort of mu-? like you know you you know that great Coke cans the Coke store they have in Vegas? They would probably put them in a store." Cause they're, like mean, a museum or something, like a little wing to a store. Like, here's the yeah. museum of Coke cans. Totally, oh, yeah. yeah. And it looks like he has multiple of each, so he could probably loan them one of his cans. Yeah, I feel like this <laughs> Excuse is... Excuse me? Yeah, pardon me. Yeah. It's like Dude, my can joke. I love this text. It's like, Steve, I don't think the guy like this is going on dates, because I was wondering... Oh, like, that's... Wow. You never know. According to his hand, his left hand, because as a single girl, he's, he's I, am, married? I, I look at these things. Yes, he looks like he's married. How did he get his wife to be okay with all this? You know, just that funny quirk. Spouses put up with a lot. Maybe she was a Coke model at some point. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or maybe she's also a fan of it. I mean, dude, you say spouses put up a lot. Dude, his entire house, every wall has a Coke can on it. (laughs) It's not like a room. I wonder if that's just the Coke house. Like, (laughs) girls in Kirkland (laughs) go to different (laughs) versions of that, I tell you. So, I, I, you know what? I can't really. Is that really true? Is he, he's got multiple rooms and uh, all over the house has got these. Are you going to look at the video, shelves? dude? It's, it's I not did. Just, I just I, yeah. I thought that was like a special area, but that's really all like those are multiple areas of his house. Yeah, oh, they okay. did the tour and you're going down a hallway and there's shelves of Coke cans. Wow. That is a lot to put up with if you are the uh, the spouse. I don't think I could. I don't think I could do that. You know, I it, it, it's. Because, I mean, look, I can easily have board games like that and just turn mm-hmm. my entire house into a game store. But I, I feel like that's a lot. That's excessive. I would hope maybe it's like, like one level of their house is just the Coke floor. Yeah. And, and, and you know what? She just stays away from that floor. She's like, you know what? That's Gary's thing. I'm not yeah. going to bug him. Yeah. I would, I would love to. Yeah, you're right. I'd love to hear her side of the story. No doubt about it. Because that is excessive if it's, the whole, if it's, if what it's if more than a room. What if she's a Pepsi girl? <laughs> oh, that would be fantastic. That would be great. Opposites yeah. attract, and that is the most opposite you could have right. at that point. I think and my wait, favorite is that is the Big Mac Coke can. That's cool. I don't remember ever that being done. That's a really cool Coke can. Yeah, I want to get Coke's impression. I, I mean, I don't know if Coke's got all these. I mean, you would think that they would. You'd think Coke would be smart enough to go, let's make sure we keep at least one of everything. And, you know, I, but, but I've never seen it anywhere. 
And it's like, hey, how do you get a, a wife to put up with that? But how do you get a wife to put up with a wrestler drummer? Well, I don't put any wrestler drummer stuff on the walls. I think that's the only way. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't know if you would put up with me. <laughs> She's yeah. like, look, you can go do that stuff. It just yeah. can't make its way in the house. That's a bit of a stretch of a joke. I think, you know, I think, yeah, you're, you're, you're nowhere near that level at all. You know, I mean, that's, this is, I mean, your entire house. Yeah. Think about that. That's nuts. So someone polled uh, hundreds of kids between 8 and 14 years old, and what they wanted to find out is a simple thing as uh, we are approaching the big Danny holiday. What is your favorite Halloween candy? And it's really surprising to me that Danny loves his ha- holiday and he, and he hates candy and sweets. It's like, and that was the only reason I liked Halloween. You hate them? I, don't think, I think hate's a strong word. Hate's a strong word. I just don't, I don't prefer them. He's not like, a dessert guy. He, yeah, he, dessert he, guy. he just doesn't. But he, he likes doesn't. candy. He likes Sour Patch Kids. Yeah, the he sour likes, ones. Oh, I forget that. Skittles, yeah. sweet tarts. Right, and those, and those are things that are given out at home. Trash. Give me a, wow. Yeah, yeah they're, the lower tier. they're the lower tier. lower tier candies. They really are. Yeah, I hate they really are. Nerds. Nerds. Hey, that's mean. Oh, you're I, I would candy. rather live in a Coke can house than have to, you know, have that. I feel like nerds would be me. number one on my Halloween candy if I was a child that they pulled on this. Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, I, that, that's because that are you know, smarties. They, they pulled the red. They pulled the regular people, not the, the smarties trash people. Yeah, I love smarties. Like not the chocolate ones from Canada. Like the the, no, the little roll of like little candy things. Yeah, the like wafers. The, the, yeah. Like the sweet tart wannabes. Yeah. Or the Tums Juniors. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Tums. yeah baby, baby Tums. Yeah, they're baby Tums. What? And weren't we? Uh, weren't, weren't we like a place that likes something like that? Like when they pulled all the yeah, states, like we, nerds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we're, you know what, Washington State, you need to get it together because no, the top Washington. ten list, dude, d- d- the grape or the strawberry, that's fantastic. No. You guys yeah. are, you guys are on something, it's and I think you probably should. Here. I like. Can we drug things. test at the station? So no. we're going, we're going to. Yeah, if we fail, you get. They're like, dude, what the hell's going on? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point. I thought about that. Um, yeah, the top ten has only one thing that I question. The rest, I completely agree with you. You know, as far as even though Brussels my favorite sprouts. Uh, <laughs> chocolate covered bu- Brussels sprouts, yeah, no, gosh. no, it's uh, and I'm going to tell you what it is right now. Number six is gummy bears. People that they're Bro. the candies I like best. Gummy those, bears are awesome. Those Haribo okay. ones, oh my god, that's the yeah. Cadillac of gummy bears. Oh, they get yeah. stuck in my teeth. Yeah, get rid of them. Drive get rid nuts. of all that. I just had it, gummy Smurfs. Gummies. Made by Haribo what? as well. They're just gummy yeah. Smurfs. And they, they okay. legit do taste like Smurfs. That's awesome. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it's Sir, how do you know what the Smurfs taste like? Well, you know, me and my friend Gargamel. We, uh, yeah. Oh. Okay. I got dark. Crazy. Yeah, that, that's together. really dark. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Number yeah. one should be Pop Rocks. No. Who has Pop okay. Rocks you, anymore? Danny, right. I was on your side, but that's just... Yeah. You don't like Pop Rocks? Oh, not as a number one Get Halloween out of here. candy. They should be. That's like that's like D level right there. Pop Rocks and Coke. What are you doing? Not Blowing that. up your head? Oh. Why are we talking to this person? Who yeah, is I, have to agree. I have to agree with that now. Yeah. yeah. I mean, really What's next? Mentos? The fresh I do yeah. love Mentos. Okay. Why, Steve? Why? Don't bring up stupid stuff Ooh. knowing that he's going to say yes to it. Okay, what about Whoppers? I love oh. Whoppers. Like the well, burgers? That's... The malted no. milk balls. Uh, no, they can... What are those? The You've never had them? Balls. I don't think I've ever had a, a <gasps> Whopper. Yeah, well, they're chocolate, so you probably hate them. That's a big They're yeah. so good. But they're oh, so little, amazing. In the little Halloween, oh. and like the little Halloween packaging, that because oh, wow. otherwise it's too much. Yeah, you get oh. three of them. That's all you need. And those are that's perfect. That's all you want. Well, listen, what kind of candy is a good candy if you go after three, I'm done? I yeah. never said that. That was rad. <laughs> that was me. I'm saying I, I don't need a giant milk, because they used to come in a, a box that looked like a milk carton. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that's that was too much. I, yeah. I would take a giant milk carton of what I love, which I know nobody loves Almond Joy, so I get it. But I would take a milk carton of those in a heartbeat. But they weren't on the top ten either, and I understand why. Neither was Mounds. Uh, some people just don't like coconut. I get it. But um, what do you think is number one? Steve, I'll give you a hint. Peanut butter it cups. Is, it, uh, there you go. That's the hint. Good job. Didn't need a hint. <laughs> <laughs> Did not need a hint right there. Wow. The, the mini Halloween size peanut butter cups are so damn good. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, number one on the list. I I uh, I'm not a super fan, but I'm not going to turn them down. I've been liking the ones, but I don't know if you guys go to the gas station much. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> in the convenience store, they have like that one with like it's the Reese's peanut butter cup that they work like pretzels and other stuff into it. It's so good. Oh, oh. oh yeah, so I can take good. that or it's, see. It's, I, I I like the pretzel. Take five. I think it's that, and then they also Fast have one break. that's basically like a Reese's version of a Butterfinger. Really. Oh, yeah. I don't even know how that's called, but it's freaking awesome. I love Butterfingers. Those are my top tier. 
I not in the uh, not in the top ten. No, Probably. kids are dumb. Butterfinger yeah. gets being Butterfingers get stuck in my teeth, and that's why, like you said, that with gummy bears. Yeah, I just can't do Butterfingers because it's just like ah, ah, it's worth it to me. Halloween size Butterfingers are awesome. The big regular size ones are just a mess because they just like it just everything gets all over you. It clothes. flakes everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Like uh, as, number two. Oh, I was gonna guess as a yeah. kid, and to this day, is one of my favorites is Milky Ways. Ah, oh, Milky Ways number three, Vicky. Woo! It's a good candy bar. It's solid. It's all right. It's a candy yeah. bar. Yeah. Like if it's, it's solid, yeah. put out there. It's yeah. awesome. it's one I'll of those that's it. good enough that everyone will eat it. But if you're willing to trade other stuff that you don't like, everyone's gonna give me their Milky Ways. So it's like ordering a French dip at a restaurant. It's a safe pick. Yeah, <laughs> I am surprised it's number three. To be honest with you, but maybe because it is a safe a safe pick. Uh, French dips are safe picks. Most. I feel uh, like most restaurants, if you can't figure out what to get, just get their French dip, and it's always fine. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, right, bread, okay, yeah. bread, steak, and gravy. What else? Can you, what do you want? Right, right. Roast beef, Ajou. gravy. Yeah, I mean, really. What Ajou, you mean? Well, you call it ajou, I it's, call it gravy, it's whatever gravy, it is. I, I know it's not gravy, but it's like <laughs> it's basically Give me some of that gravy. It's like it's like broth, really. Yeah, 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 yeah. totally. Ajou. Yeah. Uh, oh, hey, bless you. Thank okay. You. Yeah. <laughs> what about Kit Kats? Kit Kat's got to be on the list. Or number Twix. Number five on the list, ladies and gentlemen. And Twix number 10, which I'm surprised is that's low. I think Twix should be higher, yeah. I think I Twix agree. are better than Kit Kats. Um, I would agree with that. I, you know what? I, I, I go back and <laughs> forth with them. I'm not going to argue either way. I'll take both. Uh, that's why I think it should be 5, 6 or 6, 5 or, you know, either way. Uh, and Gummy Bears should be kicked off the list. So yep. that way we'd make room for, you know, mm-hmm. Twix being number 6. What about Crackle? Yeah. Uh, yeah, crackle is. I swear, the only time you ever get crackle is is Halloween. Halloween. Yeah, right. Yeah. And everyone loves it, but then it's gone for the rest of the year. I love but it you, because there's so many people who don't like them. So that's my trade one. I'll trade for those as opposed to uh, uh, anything else. Mm. Here's a pro tip, though. I'm going to tell you this right now. If you go look in the supermarket any time of year uh, outside of Halloween, the only company that gives you a mixed bag usually that you can see is Hershey's. And mm. that's where crackle is. I, I, I've been buying those lately for like if I if I have people over and I want to get something sweet, but I don't want to like just have a bunch of things in a bowl. You know, you want it wrapped for you know for COVID. Uh, that's where we go with the, uh, the the Hershey's mixed bag. But they're the only ones that do it until Halloween. Then everybody mixes up their stuff. When is Hershey's going to put a little like confidence behind crackle and maybe like you know give it a good push to go head to head with the Nestle's Crunch Bar? Oh, that's a tough one, isn't it? I think it's I mean, time for them to try, man. They've been waiting forever. Shelf space in supermarkets, man. It's so it's such a, a cutthroat business, and it's hard for you to, to justify to put crackle and and you know to put a space for it when Nestle's does right. Crackle's out. been like, put me in, coach. I got this. <laughs> yeah, I mean Hershey tries, and I, I think the variety pack is at least crackle gets the mention. But you know what, Nestle's Crunch not on this list either. So, so you know, say what about Good and Plenty? Good and plenty, what good and that? plenty, good and plenty, good and plenty. Yeah. Charlie They're terrible. An engineer. Yeah, like, the are commercials really were serious? great, but they were candy coated licorice. Yeah, yeah. I was never a fan of trash. good and plenty. Oh, interesting. I actually liked it because it was candy coated. Because normal licorice, I wasn't a fan of, but the candy coated oh, yeah. was it made it better. Yeah, it's polishing a turd with those. Yeah, you're right, and you know sometimes that's all they gave you. <laughs> are they like Mike and Ike's? I've never Mike and Ike's. Mike and Ike's are the more worse. jelly type, like uh. fruit flavored. These are just, yeah, horrifying. Yeah, it's licorice as opposed to because they had fruit and plenty, and that was more like a Mike and Ike, I think. Yeah, Mike and Ike's and, way better than Good and Plenty. Yeah, yeah. but like, yeah, it's it's. Fruit. But if you get a Mike and Ike, just go sour Mike and Ike's. There's ours. Yeah, those yeah. are delicious. Here we go again with this conversation about bad candy. Where's Skittles on this list? Uh, again, here we go with this conversation about bad candy. What are you talking about? Skittles That's a great question. Gosh. Skittles as a kid were my favorite. You really yeah, need well, to taste the rainbow, BJ. Got, mm-hmm. uh, I over tasted the over. rainbow, you know yeah, what? And I'd rainbow. rather F the rainbow at this point. Um, huh. But Skittles is not on the list, so you know what? At least people agree with me. Interesting. Yeah. So there you go. No Skittles. Gummy bears is the only thing that soured this list. Uh, otherwise, And those kids probably should be kicked out of America. Mm. So, what are uh, pieces? Reese's Pieces. <laughs> number eight on the list, Steve. Oh, those are so good. You guys are missing number two, which is obvious, especially if you know me. Oh, stupid M&M's. Yeah, there we go. m and Whoa, you yeah. can't hate on the M&M's like that just because BJ likes them. <laughs> yeah, he says, see, Steve's just hating on everything because he realizes what he loves, nobody else does. But How does it feel kisses. to be... Her What's this? Aww, little Hershey Kisses. No, Number seven more, on the list. Really? Really? Those are more of like a Christmas candy. I was thinking yeah. Valentine's Day. Or that. Yeah, I don't remember the last time I had. I guess I don't really have them on Halloween. I just remember that stupid Christmas commercial ever since I was a kid with the bells. Oh, the hair she kisses as bells. Mm-hmm. It doesn't work. Oh, man. If I'm not mistaken. <laughs> it, 
I could be wrong, but I think Hershey's Kisses were designed to be like, you know, Halloween sized. And then they were smart enough to make them a Valentine and Christmas candy, if I'm not mistaken. So mm. I think Halloween was the first time that I, that I remember getting kisses. But I could be wrong about that. Uh, peanut M&M's came in at number nine, which is my jam. That's me. Wait, so they differentiated between the different M&M's? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, so gosh. really, it's regular. It looks like plain M&M's and then peanut M&M's. So all you well, folks yeah. that if like doing, all the other ones. If we're doing that, peanut butter's top tier then. I'd say peanut butter, then peanut, yeah. and also the pretzel one, too. Yeah. I do yeah. like the pretzel ones. I also mm-hmm. like the, the we we're talking about uh, the crunches or the crackles. They had the crispy rice uh, yeah. ones as well. Oh, yeah. I don't, wild. I don't think they Sorry. make those anymore. Yeah, probably not. Limited run. No one else liked them. Yeah, yeah, really. The, the gold standard, okay? The plain and peanut. Gold standard, okay? Brown and yellow bags. All you need in your life. Brown and yellow for life. Yeah! <laughs> I think someone just texted, okay, be safe. Can you grab coffee on the way? I feel like they texted the wrong person. <laughs> Did you respond with okay? <laughs> yeah. Be safe. Love you. Wow, that could have All been right. a lot worse of a message. Don't Send them to the radio station address so they might bring the coffee here. Yeah, I would right. love coffee. All right, don't tell me what idea. to do. I want Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> He started, started arguing. <laughs> Does anybody know what company makes Kit Kats and or Twix? Because Hershey seems to be dominating this list. The regular Hershey bar came in at number four. Uh, so, Kit Kat was the Reese's uh, uh, division of Hershey. Oh, so look at Hershey on this list just kicking ass. And Twix is Mars. Oh, that's M&M's. Okay, there you go. So M&M Mars uh, has it with uh, the Twix and the M&M's. And then Hershey's uh, dominates, and then gummies shouldn't even be there. I texted him back and just said, get your own coffee. (laughs) (laughs) By the way, for you good and plenty people, black licorice did come in last. Mm. So I think that's what's inside that good and plenty is black licorice. Yeah, yeah, and it's terrible. Like, black Um, licorice is the worst thing ever. And Danny Mentos or mints, yeah, nobody wants them. Nobody wants mixed nuts. That would be, I mean, that'd be interesting if you get like an airline bag of nuts. Well, like, like, <laughs> like, like a trail nuts. mix, a bag of trail mix. Mm-hmm. I guess, yeah. I trail mean, mix is better because at least there's M and M's and raisins in that's there. That's true. Ooh. This this is just mixed nuts. There's no candy in there at all. Mm. You ever get the box of raisins? Yeah. Oh, uh, the sun made ones. Yeah. yeah. Wow. We burn those people's houses down. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, well, we were aggressive in Massachusetts. Slightly, yeah. yeah no TPing things. for us. I, I would really? take them all the time. Man. I thought that was so raisins? awesome. Raisins? I love raisins. You know what? I need to have somebody examine you. I don't I don't <laughs> mean, really. What is going on? Raisins? Yeah, yeah, remember when you were off my team for the Pop Rocks? I'm off your team for the raisins. Yeah. You don't like raisins? No. You're on an island on that one, buddy. I oh. mean, my God. Even, I, I take mean, that whole box and just like, ah. Oh, raisins are like, they took <laughs> grapes and said, here's something tasty. Let's F it up. Let's keep <laughs> making it. It's still tasty. <laughs> I just oh, last time you had a raisin. I will, I will, I will, what was I? The only time I'll have raisins is when my, my wife will cook with them because then it plumps back up again and gets a little sweeter. Yeah, the only time is in an oatmeal raisin cookie. I did like the California raisins when I was a kid. Do you remember that band? Oh, yeah. 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 The grape vine. Yeah, I got, that, that band? Okay. I have pictures with them, yeah. I have the band? I had the t shirt. Okay, congratulations. You need to wear it. Are you going to wear it? You need to wear it. It would soon. be a schmedium at this point. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Worth it to me on that. But you still Let's have see it? That one. No, I just said I had it. Oh. oh, you probably still do. Your mom probably never threw that away. This is Steven's favorite shirt. I can't get rid of this. <laughs> You're probably right. You ought to get it for Tater Tot. Oh. And then she can wear it like, you know, pajamas when she's, you know, a little older. So some raisins are blanking good. BJ can suck it. Danny, you know too. What? And Rev. Nah. Yeah. Vicky, you what's your take on raisins? I mean, I'll eat them if they're in there, but I really no, am all not going to pick it. Okay. <laughs> no. I mean, I'm sorry. Raisins over the delicious M&M treats and I would take and a, Twix. a box of raisins over a bag of regular M&Ms any oh day of the week. Oh, my God. I would, I would take the, the authorities coming in and arresting you right What about Raisinets? Yeah, no. no. It's polishing a turd still. It's yeah. like the good Uber shows yes. were the best at the movies. Oh, they were the best what? The best, the best thing to throw no, on the, the floor? The best. the best at the movies are the crunch balls. They have the little balls. You don't I, like the crunch balls in your mouth? What the hell is a crunch ball? It's like the crunch, crunch bars, bars but like, they make yeah. them in little balls. Oh, oh the Nestle crunch balls. Mm-hmm. All right, I can't argue with that. I like Nestle's crunch. All right. Of course, I do like the ice cream. Actually, at this point at the movie theater, who's even getting candy? I'm getting, I'm getting all the, like, the, the, I'm getting all the exclusives that they have now. All the decadent stuff. So I said, the hate I'm hearing for the things that I enjoy. Y'all are horrible. Mm. Oh, really? Ah. Not me. What do you, what do you enjoy? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Crap. Whoa. Signed, God. Wow. God put raisins on this earth just to determine who shouldn't be on this earth. You know? <laughs> That's a stretch. I mean, uh, just it's a say delicious it. little treat that you can pop in your mouth. Yeah, you know where you're going, Steve. When yeah. you get up to St. Pete, St. Pete's going to go, yeah, Steve, you had a good life. You're a pretty good guy. But those raisins.
Get up. <laughs> Here so we I go. said, BJ, you're just mad because you look like a raisin. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's right. I am mad that I do have that look. It's, uh, right. that, I can't, that doesn't change my flavor, my liking or hating of raisins, but he's it's right. Like, it's like, well, you're not wrong. Screw no, you. I really can't argue. <laughs> can't argue with true facts. So I said raisins are trash. They are. They're just oh, so God, raisins. they are trash. Oh, unless, you know, unless you cook with them and make them better. Raisins on a salad, actually not bad. Yeah, that, that's okay. They, oh, you've yeah, got to do yeah. stuff with those raisins. You just can't. Uh, cranberries yeah. are better. Dried Ooh. cranberries on a oh, salad, yeah. mm-hmm. those are better. Yeah. See, raisins lose every. They lose everything. Raisins are just for losers. Signed, wow. the California Raisin Commission. It's on the box. It says it right there. <laughs> I don't even Raisin. know what to think of you people anymore. I tell you that much. <laughs> yeah, sorry, buddy. Not realize it. It's us. It's hot takes on raisins. I mean, I mean, seriously. Whenever we got a box of raisins in our trick and treat bag, I swear, like eh, as a group, we were like, oh, because we didn't remember who gave us what. Because you'd open the bag and they would put their hand in, so you really couldn't see what they gave you. And then you, you know, you tried to, you know, and then you had to run around, and then you saw, it and you go, I bet that person. And we tried to figure out which one gave it to us. Oh, oh yeah! Ooh, for fifty five dollars, I get a thirty pound bag of raisins. No. I might do that and send it to your house. <laughs> oh, you know what? If you want to start that Kevin Hart uh, Nick Cannon game, feel free. There are many things I yeah. can send to this your house. It's gonna be an arms race. You do not want to get in the middle are of. You sure? Yeah, you know, and I'd actually rather it come to my house because I like raisins. There we go. You know what? I support this idea. My wife would be very confused if all of a sudden she opened up a box and it was thirty pounds of raisins. <laughs> oh my! God. Please do that. Please, I should send it to you. Yesterday, Steve, he did get this one wrong. Frank Herbert, author of the Dune series, was born in which Pacific Northwest city? Oh, Seattle? No. Uh, Bellevue? No. Bellingham? No. What Spokane? Two, no. Uh, what two snacks? Portland? No. No. Oh, how about that? He was a Tacoma boy. Tacoma. Oh, Frankie Dune. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm hearing good things, by the way, Rev and Vicky. I'm hearing very good things about Dune. I read an article... And the reviewer thinks it's good. Nice. Very excited about this. Uh, you want a shot at beating Steve, 206-421-ROCK. We're playing Beat Migs at 847 on The Rock. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. Here's another question from a listener. I'm getting my wages garnished. Can bankruptcy help with that? Absolutely. Uh, One of the big reasons people file bankruptcy is because they have a judgment or a lawsuit against them or their wages are getting garnished uh, and so they can't pay their other regular ongoing bills. People sometimes think that you can't file bankruptcy once they have a judgment against them or once a garnishment has started and that's not true. Filing bankruptcy will immediately stop any garnishment that you have going except for child support uh, and stop your creditors from continuing on with garnishments of your bank account, your wages, um, and in most cases will discharge that liability uh, through the bankruptcy process. And we can file a bankruptcy case uh, for you usually the day you come in. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. Thanks for listening. Wenatchee is gorgeous in the spring with its lush green rolling hills, abundant wildflowers everywhere, and the views of the Columbia River. The local food scene offers an abundant selection of authentic international cuisines featuring the unique farm fresh ingredients of the region. Wenatchee is also home to award-winning wines, handcrafted hard ciders, and a talented handful of local brewers producing fine craft beers. Visit Wenatchee, the heart of Washington State. This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. When we think about the COVID-19 vaccine hesitancy in the black community, let's remember, it didn't happen by chance. It's justified in history. But the will to change the narrative is strong today, and our people are lending their voices to the conversation. We're sharing our stories and the reasons that made us choose the vaccine so we can lead the way for others to make a well-informed choice, too. To hear our stories, visit hereforuswa.org. Make your kitchen ready for every summer gathering this Memorial Day with LG and Lowe's. Our exclusive InstaView appliance suite includes ranges with air fry, refrigerators with slow melting craft ice, and an exclusive dishwasher you can only find at Lowe's. Plus, you'll get up to 10% back via a MasterCard prepaid card when you bundle eligible LG products via rebate. Shop Memorial Day savings at Lowe's. Offer valid 3-3 through 518 on select LG items only. See Lowe's.com slash rebates for details and timing.